BBC News with Moira Alderson. President Biden has announced U.S. sanctions on Russia, which he said went far beyond those imposed after the annexation of Crimea. He said President Putin was establishing a rationale to take more Ukrainian territory and condemned his decision to recognize the independence of areas of eastern Ukraine controlled by Russian-backed separatists. Mr. Biden announced moves to block trade involving two large Russian banks and stop Russia from raising money from the West or trade debt in its financial systems. Earlier, the head of NATO, Jens Stoltenberg, said there was evidence Russian troops were moving into separatist-held areas of eastern Ukraine. In Russia, Vladimir Putin said he recognized the borders of the breakaway Donetsk and Luhansk regions as outlined in their constitutions, which includes territory under Ukrainian government control. In other news, a jury in the United States has found three white men who murdered a black jogger guilty of federal hate crimes. The three defendants had already been sentenced to life in prison last month for killing Ahmad Arbery. Dutch police say they're dealing with a hostage situation at an Apple computer store in central Amsterdam. Earlier, they said there was a man with a firearm at the location, which has now been cordoned off. An Israeli court has suspended the planned eviction of a Palestinian family in East Jerusalem's flashpoint neighborhood of Sheikh Jarrah. The Salem family had been ordered to surrender the property to Jewish settlers who've claimed ownership of it. Gary Brooker, the lead singer of the English rock band Prokol Haram, has died at the age of 76. He co-wrote and sang Prokol Haram's classic debut song, A Whiter Shade of Pale, which sat at the top of the British singles charts for six weeks in 1967 in what became known as the Summer of Love. That's the latest BBC News.